It's a big day for Santa Fe resident Eduardo Zambrano. Look who's here. He's here at Northern New Mexico College waiting for a potentially life-changing technology. The team is ready for you, man. Developed by the most unlikely of engineers. I was walking into my physical therapy room and I was bent over from, my head was almost touching the ground. I was bent over at the waist and the physical therapist said, Ed, look at you, you look like an old man. And I looked at myself and I, my, my head was almost touching the, the ground. Eduardo was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease about 10 years ago. As he says, it began to present itself with a stooped posture and rigid muscles, just two of the numerous symptoms caused by the disease. A common cold has three symptoms, um, fever, runny nose, aches and pains. Parkinson's is 22. Those include changes in speech and writing, difficulty in blinking, smiling or walking, as well as slowed movement and one of the most common symptoms, tremors. Parkinson's is a disease of the brain. Cells that deliver dopamine to motor control circuits have died, and the motor control circuits are now in, in kind of free reign. Dr. Steve Cox is an associate professor of engineering at the college who has worked closely with faculty at Española Valley High School and students with their MESA program. About a year and a half ago, a colleague whose husband was diagnosed with Parkinson's came to Dr. Cox with a question after seeing a story on the Today Show about an experimental glove developed at Stanford University. He said, Steve, do you think you and your students could hack this glove? Could you build one of these things? And so we accepted that as a, as a challenge. Since then, students from Española Valley High have been working side by side with undergraduate students in engineering, some of whom have had internships at Los Alamos National Labs. Getting the experience to go to different places, meet different people, especially like Ed, seeing how like energetic and hopeful he is, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels, it feels good. It feels, it's a good fit. Their work today is to fit Eduardo with their version of the Parkinson's glove, a wearable device that delivers random, low-level vibrations to the fingertips, which according to research being done at Stanford, can alleviate some symptoms of the disease. Delivering a, a non-standard pattern of stimulus to the, to the person. It could be through the eyes, could be through the nose, could be through the ears. It just happens that the, the fingertips are kind of a natural way. There's a lot, of, a lot of sensation here. And so basically, we're just sending messages to the brain through the fingertips. Now, according to Dr. Cox, he has no aspirations of opening his own company or trying to take the glove to clinical trials. He's more interested in developing the minds of these young engineers so that hopefully one day they may be able to find a cure for Parkinson's. But it's but not just learning for the sake of learning. It's not just part of their part of their high school or college training. They're actually solving problems and helping the community. The Steady Hands program is linking the older generation with the younger and giving the younger generation an investment in their elders. A fact not lost on students like Chelsea, a senior at Española Valley High. We had another client before, and I just remember he started crying. You know, and that almost made me cry a little bit sentimental sometimes, but I just thought it was really awesome how such a small thing, you know, is just impacts somebody so greatly. How, you, how does it been? feel? You have good contact? It's good contact. After dozens of prototypes soldered and stitched together with care, uh, much better. Eduardo has his new set of gloves. Can you use the wheelchair? And hopefully a newfound, albeit temporary, relief from the debilitating disease. It means a lot that they are interested enough in my plight that uh, they're willing to go through this, you know, coming here in their spare time, I'm sure, and, and doing this, trying it. Uh, I'm thrilled. If I, if I can even get rid of one of the symptoms, it'd be great.